It's my favorite time of the month. Time to give a special thank you to all my supporters at the Fabled Survivor Elite Tier. You can join the Fabled Survivor Elite Tier on YouTube or Patreon. Links are in the description. You guys are the best. Thank you for helping make our dreams come true. Autumn, Sylvie, and I love you all very much. You people rock. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Green Hell. Let's see. I'm going to be hanging around the base today. Let's see if I can not get attacked by a Jaguar today. How about that? Would that be pretty cool? I think that would be pretty cool. All right, so I've got a couple plans I want to do today. Uh, first of all, I want to solidify this little base right here. I'm going to put uh, mud all around it. I'm going to um, put a little uh, cooking area in here. It's going to be pretty dope. But before we do that, we're going to work on pottery. And there's something wrong with me. What the hell is wrong with me? Oh, protein. Okay, let's get some protein. That should not be a problem. There used to be a bug in this game uh, that if you had food on the drying rack... Now, food on the drying rack theoretically does start going bad, okay? Uh, it has its own timer as it's on the drying rack. But there used to be a bug where if you eat the meat right off the drying rack, uh, even if it was, like, on there for, like, four weeks, it would you would still eat it and it wouldn't go bad because uh, you can right-click and eat right off the drying rack. So... Uh, maybe once I start getting a lot of meat on there, I'll start doing that. But, like, theoretically, if this meat on that drying rack was on there for another three days, it should have gone bad. But if you eat it right off the drying rack, it'll, it won't be bad. Now, don't take that, you know, as, as you know, <laughs> as a solid fact. Because the fact of the matter is I haven't done it in probably about a year. So there has been updates. Do it, Use that tip at your own risk. But I do believe... Um, I guess that's still the case. I have no idea about knowing. I have no idea if that's the case or not before I save the game and try it. So I will save the game and try it at some point, uh, but not today. Let's go ahead and eat. And there we go. And we just need. Uh, let's go ahead and have some water as well. All right. So I went, remember, I got that pot last episode. By the way, I missed some things at the drug facility. I missed a machete and I missed something really important. Damn it. What the hell was it? Someone told me in the comment section just now that I missed it and it was a really important thing that I wanted. Uh, anyway, we're going to go back to the drug facility at some point and get the machete and whatever else that other thing I missed was. Uh, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Anyway, the pot I have right there holds 30 hydration. So that's fantastic. Okay, so I learned how to use the pottery thing. It's pretty easy. Uh, the only thing I don't know about is why there's a spot for melted iron ore. Uh, but what you can do is if you right click, you can switch to what you make. So there's a small clay bowl. There's a big clay bowl. There's a clay bottle, and then it goes back to the small bowl. So I'm thinking maybe if you put metal in there, what this is made out of will change. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, the next thing we're going to make is the clay bottle. So let's come over here. I did make this small clay bowl just to test it out, and it's right there. And it holds 10 hydration. Works just like a coconut half. So kind of a limited use there, but still, it's nice that you, know, you can make them. All right, so what I'm going to do is we need molds, okay? Uh, you're going to need molds for a lot of things in this game, so I'm going to show you how to make molds. You take a mud brick, and you harvest it, and you're going to get three molds out of it, okay? Then you take the molds over to the pottery table, and you put them in the bottom. I already had two molds in there. I'm going to put two more, and I'll just drop this one on the ground right there. All right, now this thing is going to need three, or sorry, two empty molds and 120 water. So that, that thing right there, you take the water, you, you go over to the lake, you take the water, you put it in here. If that's filled up, I did that off camera. So, um, yeah, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a clay bottle. I think I'm going to make two of them because I can. All right, so you can see right here, see how the water is now uh, not full anymore? We're going to take this water. Hold on. That could be one of those. Um, nope. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Oof. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, that worked. So I believe what happened there was kind of bullshit, um, I think. And I, I could be wrong about that. But you notice how the Jaguar was kind of staying back and kind of looking at me and stuff? I think the Jaguar knew once I take out the bow, he's about to get one shot it. And I don't think Jaguars would know about that in real life. I think that's just a game design decision. Because if a Jaguar is stalking you and you take out your bow and you take your time and you carefully aim, they're going to be really easy to kill. So I think the game is designed to, if you take out your bow, Jaguar's going to rush you. Um, I don't know. Maybe Jaguars do know to rush you when you take out a bow. I, I don't, you know, I'm not a Jaguar. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do with a cat fang? Oh, I'm going to have to look into that. I don't think those were in the game when I last played. All right. So I did get some bones. All right. 
And all right, so our inventory is kind of a mess, but that's okay. I'll take that uh, can. All right, I'm, I'm gonna keep that in my inventory for now. All right, so check this out. So once you have the clay, whatever. Oh, let's make the second one. We're gonna make the second one. Uh, also, let me look at my armor because he did hit me once. Thirty-nine percent, twenty-six percent, sixty. It doesn't look like he's attacking my legs. Interesting. None of my armor, my legs, is taking any damage yet. All right, so there's the water thing. Let's go ahead and dump the rest of our water in there. All right, and then we're going to take this uh, cat meat and we're going to put it on the drying rack. Uh, last time I played, the cat meat actually didn't give you a lot of, like, uh, a lot of nutrients, you know? Not a lot of protein, not a lot of fats. Um, I guess there's not a lot of fat on cats. Pretty lean animal. But, you know, still, I feel like maybe more protein. But all right, let's put another thing in there and let's go ahead and make another clay bottle on date. And there we go. So there's going to be one thing I can make uh, with, not with pottery, but with mud. And it's like, a, it's like a mud water purifier setup. And it's the ultimate thing for you to get water to drink. Problem is I have to go find uh, recipes for it. So um, I'll look to see if I have it. I might actually. I know you need the water... You need a water filter and then a water catcher or something. I think I need to go to the fishing docks and get the water filter in order to get the recipe to make that clay. Um, or, I'm sorry, uh, mud. I don't remember what it's called. It's like a mud water purifier thing. We'll, we'll get to it eventually. All right, so you put these on the fire because right now they're clay. So you, what you need to do with clay is you need to cook it um, for it to harden and solidify. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this right on the fire. And that should give us two of these things. Now, I think I think I heard that these things hold 100 water each. Um, now, there's a Bedon I wanted to get that holds 100 water. It's a metal Bedon. It's at an overturned Jeep. And originally, I was like, oh, I got to go get that because I need Bedones that can hold 100 water. It's just, you know, it's awesome. But now I don't need to go over there anymore. Except I do because <laughs> that's also where you get the grappling hook. And the grappling hook is going to allow me to get around the map a lot easier. So we will go to the overturned Jeep at some point. All right, so we're just going to wait for those. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to put some more water in there. I'm going to wait for these to be done because I, I want to use these. And I might actually take these bedones. These things are kind of um, not really that useful anymore because they only hold 40. And I think those are going to hold 100. Let's come over here and grab some rope. The, this uh, rope respawns every time you reload the game. So if you have some problems with rope, you can always just... Uh, you know, reload the game. You'll be good to go. Wow, it's still a lot of rope. Okay, fair enough. And there we go. All right. Wait, unfinished? Why does it say unfinished? Hmm, hold on one second. No, it's finished. I don't know why it says unfinished. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something obvious there. It wouldn't be the... Maybe, maybe you have to actually build it for it to be finished. Like, put the rope on it. Yeah, there you go. All right. So let's go ahead and take one of these, put that out, drop that down right there, and let's go get some water now. Like I said, I think these things are going to hold 100 water each, which is just going to be phenomenal if that's true. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've got 200 units of water in my inventory right now. Uh, does that get heavy though? Uh, two, um, hmm. It's two pounds. We'll see how much it's we'll see how much it weighs when there's no water in it. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, it does get heavier with water in it. Wow. Oh wait, it no. Maybe it does. I think it does. Pretty sure. Alright, cool. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves the big clay bowl. And we're gonna need another one of these. Harvest that. Yeah, the molds are... We can make metal tools at some point. We're going to need these molds to make metal tools as well. All right, so let's make one of these. Uh, you know what? Let's just make two. Yeah, let's make one more. Why not? Harvest that. Now, these things are really cool because you can leave them out in the rain to just get you an absolute butt ton of, uh, of water. Um, eventually, though, I will leave the rainy season. And once I leave the rainy season, then I'm going to have to, um, you know, boil water. Uh, until the rainy season comes back. I think that's pretty far down the road, though. Um, I would kind of like to get the water, the mud water purifier thingy first before we hit the rainy season. So we'll see. Um, I don't remember where the uh, where the fishing village is, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of far away. 
But I do have maps and everything, so I should be able to find it relatively easily. All right, let's go ahead and cook those up. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to make some small planter boxes, okay? I've got a couple of uh, flowers in here, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure what they are. They're just, say, unknown. Um, one start... Is it the lizard? I think a giant snake. Pretty sure it's a lizard's tail. Hopefully it's a lizard's tail. Anyway, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here with that stuff. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is we need to find the plant boxes. There we go. We're gonna make small ones. Uh, it doesn't look like we can. Well, I kind of make it there. I can make two here. I'll bet right next to each other. Um, the thing is, I don't want to like leave myself with a lot, with a very little bit of space. I think we're gonna put them over, over on this side. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so we'll put one there, and then we'll put another one right next to it. All right, should have a lot of wood for that. No, nope, no, nope. no more sticks. But don't worry, lots of sticks out here I haven't picked up yet. So yeah, I don't know what's up with those dried flowers. I'm hoping that one's Molinaria and one is the Lily Dressing flower, and then I need to get the one that's got the anti venom properties. Although it says Lily Dress, the Lily Dressing one has anti venom properties. I'm not really sure. Uh, what exactly I'm supposed to do with it? Uh, I'm looking this stuff up, but oh god, that thing's that thing is creepy, man. Um, yeah, I am looking this stuff up, but I'm still not sure exactly uh, some of it. All right, there we go. Oh, we need planks. Look at that. Oh, that that reminds me. Okay, guys, I got a way you guys can store planks. That's right. I remember it now. I remember this from last season. All right, so this is what you want to do if you want to store planks. You take one of these small planter boxes. And you put it down, and then you build it, and you put in, uh, I think you could put in three planks. And then just don't finish it. And then if you take it apart, I think you get all of them back. Although I'm not sure about that 100%. Yeah, let's try it. Why not? Yeah, that's everything back, by the way. That's everything I put into it. Oh, that's phenomenal. Yep, so that, that's the way you can store planks. It's the only way you can store planks, as far as I understand. I remember doing that, like, a, I think it was last season. So let's go ahead and grab one more stick. And then we should be able to finish this up. I guess I'll grab a couple while I'm out here. Oh, by the way, these trees are growing back. This tree right here, it, it grew back. I actually broke this down and I left the stump. Now, I don't know if this is where the unknown nuts um, fall from. Uh, because honestly, the, at some point, these trees all kind of look the same to me. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that thing grew back because I left the trunk there. So that is really, really cool. Or maybe this one's the unknown nut. I'm pretty sure I broke this one down as well. I'm kind of sure I broke this one down as well and it grew back. I'm kind of, kind of, almost pretty sure. 75% sure. All right, let's see where these leeches are. All right, they're on the, the old legs, huh? There we go. No harm, no foul. Leeches themselves aren't really dangerous. It's the diseases they give you that could be the problems, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this one. And then we just need three more for that. Now, how many do I get if I break this up? I don't remember. Let's see how many planks I get if I break this up. Is it two? No, see, it's still one plank. So you're better off um, you're better off hitting that with the axe and breaking it up that way. Uh, because the long sticks are worth a lot more <laughs> than anything. These long sticks are worth the most. Like, no joke. So now we got to come in here and we'll chop this one. Oh, Molinaria. Hold on. Come on, damn it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to use the knife on this. All right. Here we go. See, we only got mullinaria leaves. Hold on. Harvest. Yep, you need to harvest the mullinaria leaves to get the flower. Okay. All right. Well, one will be enough for now. Yeah, let's just harvest them all. I've got a lot of mullinaria stuff. we get a few flowers. Why not? Okay. So that's good for the mullinaria. I wonder if you're supposed to do that with the other ones as well. See, that's what I don't know. What I don't know could fill a book. <laughs> I'm so funny. All right, come on, you freaking weak ass. Let's go. What time is it, anyway? I gotta get some blue mushrooms or something for this guy. He's a freaking panty waste, this guy. Oh, also, um, people tell me that spider 100% respawns. And the reason I'm not seeing it is because it could... It could uh, it has a large wandering radius, although it must be that way because I've been running up and down here forever and I haven't seen him once. So if he's got a larger, like, wandering radius, it must be over there. 
Okay. And we'll grab that. And... Damn it! I don't want to do that. All right, well, whatever. All right, so let's do this, this, and then we... See, why is that asking for something? I'm supposed to, like... Yeah. See, that's what this that's what this one did. Like, aren't I supposed to roll it up before I put the seeds in? See, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do right here. It says to put the seeds in. I can't do anything else. So, no, I can't. Oh, that's right. It's got to be dry. Oh, maybe you don't have to roll these. I guess you don't have to plow these. No, hold Q to plow. Okay, here's the deal. This is I'm still getting used to these uh, plant boxes. Got to use them in a while. I think like let's say you put in the wrong seed, and you oh man I don't want to I got I put in the wrong seed I got to get rid of it. Then you plow it. Okay, I see. Uh, oops. Okay, there we go. And I got some poop. Yeah. Um, I don't have any more poop anywhere. Hold on. Let's uh turn this up so you guys can see. Where's my poop? I don't know. Maybe I dropped it on the ground and didn't notice it. Uh, oh, there it is. I got the poop. All right, cool. Let's come on over here and put that one in here. And I got to see what these grow into because honestly, I don't know what they're going to grow into. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. And it is raining, so they are getting water, which is fantastic. Okay, I've, now I want to build this out, but we have other things we need to do that are more important. I think the next thing we're going to have to do is set up a killer trap. Um, so we can get a constant source of protein without having to come out here and shoot these animals uh, ourselves. Um, by the way, the armadillo. Let's grab him. He makes the second best armor in the game, apparently. So we're going to grab that shell. He's always here, too, which is great. All right. Did we get the shell? He, you know what? He's a small one. I don't think he gives a shell. No, he doesn't give a shell because he's a small armadillo. Okay. Well, that would be too easy, I guess, because he's kind of a joke. <laughs> I just run up to him and he lets me kill him. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make a killer trap out here. And remember, I got this at the drug facility. It's a fantastic trap. One of my favorites. We are going to need some logs. So let's grab some logs from over here. As soon as we're done with this, I will work on the, the main... Not the main base. I mean, that thing I'm building right now is an outpost. Uh, but I do want it to have everything I'm going to need. So we will have to uh, deal with it and get it some uh, a proper fire, just just for you know the start. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. We might be full. Nope, we're not. Almost full. We'll grab all these. Anytime you cut down one of those big trees, that those rope things always fall on the ground, which is awesome. All right, so we're we're gonna bring these back home. Actually, I might need these for the for the trap, but whatever I don't need, I will bring back home. Let's look for another thick one. Oh, heart of the palm. Make some heart of the palm uh, soup. I'm not going to because I don't need to. Uh, oh, hold on. All right, so it is this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure I cut the one down at my house and it grew back. As a matter of fact, I cut this one down because there's the dry leaves. So those things do grow back. So all the times, like, everyone was like, Cage, stop cutting down those trees. It's not a big deal, man. They grow back. I knew that. I knew that the whole time. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> when he told me to not cut down the trees, I just got that sick feeling in my stomach. Like, oh, man. Like, I've been cutting down those trees and I shouldn't have been. But no, it's fine. Okay, there we go. And it's done. Now, do you have to bait this thing? I'm not sure. Uh, what am I going to bait it with? Can I bait it with a spoiled centipede? I guess I can. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're supposed to do with centipedes. They actually, the centipedes have a crafting, like, section. Like, if you get a centipede, you can go on crafting. Uh, but I don't know what the hell you're supposed to craft with them. There's nothing on the internet that I could find. At least I, I couldn't find it at the um, the Green Hell Wiki. So maybe that's a little bit behind. Maybe those centipedes are pretty new. Um, they definitely weren't in the game last time I played. So they've got to be somewhat new. It's just uh, depends on how new. But yeah, I, I don't know what to craft with the, with the centipedes. So if anyone knows, that would be super duper helpful. All right, now time to set this bad boy up for real. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm going to put down is a fire. A place for a fire so we need to go right here all the way right there the mud fireside wall beautiful beautiful and then the next thing uh we'll put a window right there uh do you want to put another window in uh sure why not and then this these two in the back will be our uh, regular walls uh mud wall 
And mud wall. All right. All right. So that's going to be super duper expensive. Um, there was something else I, I think I wanted to put in here. But I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Door. Oh, that's right. I got to put in a regular door first. All right. So if you could put in a door. Uh, yeah, like that. Nope, not like that. Nope, that's not the way I want the door, so we do the other one. See, they're... Oh, no, they're both the same door. It's just uh, one's bamboo and one's regular. Oh, okay, so how do I... There's a way to move these around. Oh, there we go. Got it. It still looks like a... It's going to be like a small way to get in, but that's okay. It should be pretty cool. All right, so let's finish that door. And then we're going to turn the mud also over here. I'm looking for a place to put more storage. Because, man, you need a lot of storage. These storage boxes do not hold a lot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make as much storage over here as I possibly can. Like one right there. One right here. Uh, can't put one there. Uh, all right, whatever. I'll do this. I'll do this later. Um, but, yeah, this is where I want to put all the storage. I just got, I kind of have to figure out how I want to do it. But I'll worry about that later. It's not really... The focus. Uh, let's take max, which I believe is four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we just need one more. We got some over here. Two, three. We'll grab this one. The one we don't use, we'll just put back in the box. All right, so that's taken care of. And we should be able to put mud over that as well. Uh, there we go. That lizard thing freaks me the hell out, man. I don't know if it actually hurt you or anything. It's never hurt me, as far as I could tell. <laughs> uh, so, but... And mud, 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 mud. There we go. All right, cool. Now we just have to... Let's do the fire thing first. Wait, see, I gotta break these boxes out because I can't get over there. Again, I don't have a really great place for the boxes. I'm gonna look for one now. I'm gonna look for one. When I build my ultimate my ultimate base, I'll, I'll you know I'll make some room for boxes. But um, should I make the ultimate base over here now? Or, see, I don't know about that spider. I don't want to deal with that spider. I think I'm gonna stick with my ultimate base being over there. Should be pretty good. It's gonna be three high for sure because I don't have that. My ultimate base is not gonna have a, a big a big a footprint as I would like because it's, I if I could do it right, I'm hoping to make it built out over the river. And then I won't be able to have that park all the way down to the ground because it'll be all water. But that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Uh, so it's definitely going to be three high. Hopefully I don't run any of the building um, issues that I had last time. Uh, I heard that they're going to be fixing the building. But I just, you know, I don't know when that's going to happen. There we go. And now we can cook stuff there. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply let this fire burn down. Because uh, if I let it burn down, I'll get the, uh, the charcoal from it, which will be pretty helpful. And, yeah, we'll just let this bad boy burn down. Do I have any meat on me? I think I do, because I killed that one thing. Should I, should I just cook it? Um, yeah, let's just cook it. Armadillo meat. How are my stats doing? Oh, not looking good. I do have to wash myself off, though, first and foremost, before I eat, eat anything. You can drink stuff without washing yourself off, but if you want to eat, you got to wash yourself off. All right, these are the flowers that I want. So let's cut these up and see what we get for them. Exactly. All right, so we did get the unknown flower. All right, so that's the unknown flower. Is that the one I planted before? I think it is. I'm just going to kind of throw these leaves out here. All right, so we got the Molinaria dried. Now we can plant them. So I'm going to keep this down here, and we're going to kind of see what that looks like because that's what I want to That's what I want to plant because that's going to give me what I need for the lily dressing, which, as far as I can tell, is the easiest... Uh, antibiotic or whatever uh, bandage you can make. I don't know how good it is. I know it's kind of on the low end, but it's not as bad as just a regular Molinaria bandage. That's for sure. Well, that's for sure as far as my understanding. All right, so let's come over here. Is my food cooked? I totally forgot about it. I hope it's not burnt. Let's take a look. Uh, nope, it's cooked. Beautiful. And then we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to just put all of... Wait, what? Uh, how do I put wood in there? Oh, you have to make the fire in there, don't you? That's right. I forgot about that. You gotta actually make the fire in there. Okay. Alright, fair enough. There we go. Alright, let's get some small sticks and deal with that later. Alright, awesome. Went ahead and grabbed a bunch more mud. 
So let's see. Oh, that one did two at a time. I wonder if these other ones are... Oh, that's because it's like a half thing. That's why. All right, that's fine. I think the first thing I'm going to do when I'm done with this episode is find a place for these uh, uh, for these storage containers and get the hell get rid of them, man. They're so irritating where they are. I mean, they were good for a while, but now they're just kind of in my way. I went ahead and uh, made the fire in there as well and built it all up, so it's looking good. And now all we've got to do is get all this mud in here, and uh, this little outpost will be finished. Uh, we've got all our nutritional needs taken care of. We've got the ma main key uh, recipe things that I want, although there's a few more that I want, obviously. But, you know, we're off to a good start here. We can start, you know, making the main base after this, honestly. Uh, but... Maybe I gotta like maybe I should get into metal working before I start making the main base because if I can make myself a metal axe, that would probably go a long way towards helping me build. So uh, you, there's different places you can get metal. Uh, you can when you get the, you know, I have a couple of metal cans and you could get metal out of that. You can also eat food that's in metal cans and then have the metal can left. Uh, also, there's caves in the game with uh, you know you just make yourself a pickaxe and you can mine uh, the ore out of the caves. So. Uh, yeah, so that's all that's all the stuff I'm looking at right now. But we gotta get this fire burnt out. I don't know if I can burn myself by standing on that fire. I'd imagine I could. Because this game's super realistic, but I feel like I've walked pretty close to it and not burned myself yet, so I guess I'm just getting lucky. Okay, and here we are. Boom! The house is done. Now I could make the roof. I think I can make the roof out of uh can you make the roof out of uh out of mud after you've already put some a roof on? I'd imagine you could. Mud roof. Uh, oh, okay. See, so, yeah, I don't think you could put this kind of roof on and then make a mud roof. Uh, I don't know. I haven't made a mud roof in a long time. It's okay, though. This is all the, you know, the security I'm going to need. Now, hopefully the, uh, the stupid cougar can't run through these walls, but I'm not holding my breath. Awesome. And our main base is going to be built over here, by the way. Again, I'll have, probably have a lot of it on the floor. Uh, probably over to about here and then over to here and then I'll probably make it across the water and that'll be like a second floor thing. I don't know. We're just going to have to play it by ear and see where the game takes us. But either way, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please. Oh, what's the outro cage? If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage the like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Goodness. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.